Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Otaku Haul. I should call it some other thing. I had a good name in mind, but I totally forgot it. So maybe it comes back to my mind or maybe not. But for now, let's just call it Otaku Haul. All the mangas that I buy are in Japanese. So if you're interested in purchasing mangas online that are Japanese, then you might check out the website yesasia.com or CD Japan. I personally prefer Yes Asia over CD Japan just because um, the shipping fee for CD Japan is so high, very expensive, while in Yes Asia it's um, free shipping and I don't have to pay any taxes for the import so that's pretty good. If it's a little bit dark it's because I am I have my normal lightings on. I don't have any filming lights on because I felt like being a little bit cozy. It's a Saturday and it's 10 p.m. and I'm just sitting at home and filming a video. That's my life and I'm totally looking like that, like ready to party and I'm sitting here at home. That's reality for a YouTuber. And that thing there is kind of like annoying. Totally, yes, rocking my home pants. I personally like to read shoujo. Um, I, I read a lot of shoujos and I probably have read pre pretty much all the famous shoujos. And I also like shonen. I'm a big fan of Naruto, One Piece. I also watched Fairy Tail. Um, I'm currently watching Boruto and surprisingly I really like it. The animation is really cool. I did start to read the manga and I wasn't really impressed with the art. Like the characters looked so different from when Kishimoto drew them and of course it is like that but I was slightly disappointed. Is the anime based on the manga? Yes it is because like it started really far off the manga but now it's oh no wait but that was now it's based on the manga Gaiden it's Naruto Gaiden I actually do own that manga and right now the anime is there and I heard that the animation started before the movie so Kimi ni todoke ta -da! this is Kimi ni todoke if you have seen my first episode of Otaku Hall, then you know that I already own other volumes. I actually did purchase all the volumes last time in my last Otaku Hall. It has by now 29 episodes and they just recently announced that it's going to end soon. And uh, this kind of breaks my heart. For those who are interested, this Shoujo has two anime seasons and one live action and I do totally recommend you to watch the live action because it is really good and for me to say that I personally don't like live acts I think they're just nah they're not good Kimi ni Todoke did pick the best really like the actors are perfect fits. I've been hoping for a third season because it stopped very early and there is a lot of development after the animation so it would be awesome is if for the ending they would announce a third season just like they did with fairy tale and everybody was flipping out I would flip out as well. One of the characters is called Savako Kuronuma and she is um, an outsider. She never had many friends. People have been teasing her, her basically her whole life and she had no self-esteem until she entered high school. There she met uh, Shota, Shota Kazehaya and he was a very refreshing, happy, uh, socially uh, interacting person. He was like the opposite of her. And the development of the sh of the story is kind of slow, but it's actually really cute to see them growing and developing. Next manga is Haikyuu. Haikyuu is my favorite sports 
show, manga, anime, what should I call it? Just show? Let's just call it story. Haikyuu is my favorite sports story. Haikyuu has already its third season out. And I swear to you guys, it's so focused on volleyball, but it's so good. So there is not any romance there. You will not find romance in this sports show. Basically, they're always on the field. They always are playing uh, volleyball and you would think that's a very boring show to watch but or to read but it's so good it's so good you really get into it you really get into the characters it is a humorful story so check it out it's very good oh also Kimi Nitodoke has humor a lot a lot of humor orange it is a shoujo it is a Roma is it a shoujo I think it's somewhere in between shoujo, romance and drama. It oh it's drama, drama. That's that's the word. It's drama. It's very sad story about a boy that wanted to commit suicide and it's just about him going to school, meeting new friends and just living with the thought about suicide. There's also like time travel involved. I never really read the complete manga. I only watched the animation and I did pick up the sixth volume which is the extra volume. So they announced like a uh, half a year ago that there would be an extra volume. I haven't read it yet but what I know about is that this is going to be a story, a short story, a side story on the perspective of another outcome with the main character changing. I might as well pick up the other volumes since there are only five volumes available. This was last year my favorite shoujo story. Nijiro Days and basically this is uh, a re reversed shoujo. While most of the shoujo always um, focus on the perspective of girls, this focus on four boys and their perspective and uh, it's so funny. Can we talk about this cover? It's so, oh my god, he looks so cute. This is actually the main, main, main character. Basically, the story is around him and his friends. And this is volume 15. In Haikyuu, I got volume 25 and 27. I think those two are the latest one. I think 27 is the latest one. I did decide to collect all the volumes of Nijiro Days. I got volume 2, I got volume 3, I got volume 4. I think they didn't have volume 1 at the time, so I do need to purchase it later on. I just like to collect mangas if I really love the story, because I also want to support the mangaka, which I think you should do as well, because or else if everybody would read the stories online, the mangakas wouldn't get any benefit out of it and the job would kind of be ruined. Shonen! Oh, this is currently my favorite shonen. I love it. Currently season 2 is running. It's still airing and this is My Hero Academia or Boku no Hero Academia. If you like comics and if you like manga, then this is the perfect baby to read. We're talking about a world where being a hero is a main job and they're villains, they're heroes and they fight each other and it involves also the local people and basically everybody in this world has a special power or almost everybody, not all of them, but nowadays, like people did develop in the past powers and more and more people develop them and they did pass on the powers on their children. Almost a stereotype shonen because it starts off with the main character being very lame. Basically, he doesn't have any powers. So uh, currently, there is volume 14 out. I think there's also 15 already out. This is Shonen Jump, weekly release. So a volume comes out quite quickly. The manga is still quite ahead of the show. 
and there was probably going to be other seasons. I hope so. I really do hope so. This is the latest manga of Iosaki Saka. For those who don't know who Iosaki Saka is, one of her most popular stories is Blue Spring Ride or Auharaido about Futaba and Ko. It's a shoujo and it finished in 2014, I believe. This is Omoi Omovare Furi Furare, her newest manga, and it's up to five season uh, season episode five. It's only a monthly release of a chapter, so it drags on forever. For both the shows, Straw Badge and Blue Spring Ride, there is a live act available. I wasn't really into the live act of Blue Spring Ride, but I loved the one for Straw Badge. I got the last episode of Kue no Katachi. I have already all the other six volumes. This is volume seven. I was introduced to this manga throughout all the commotion that was going around about the movie. I also watched the movie. It was so good oh my gosh absolutely love it it is a roller coaster of feels just like all the mangas of Iosaki Saka they're also like roller coaster they put you in a roller coaster and there you go yeah get you all your feels there and this was also a roller coaster of feels it's just like eh, all those feels it started to rain it's been raining like crazy lately this is called Mairimashita Senpai. I thought the drawing was very cute. None of the other shoujo that I've mentioned before are as shoujo as this one. This includes a lot of hugging and kissing and, and very a lot of romance while the other ones don't really have that much of kissing and hugging. This is super shoujo so if you're not into super shoujo stay away from this one. If you are into very cute stories then this is the last manga and this is Living no Matsunagasa. Guys, if you have been looking into shoujo in the net, in the internet, then you might have crossed path with this show or story. <laughs> We're missing show now. This is volume one. I think volume two is about to be released. I haven't seen it on the internet yet. I hope it's coming out soon. I don't want to say it's a cute story because you're going to break my neck if I say cute again. <laughs> it's a funny story. <laughs> it's about a girl moving into a share house. In that share house there are a couple of other living already and they're all older than her. Uh, almost 10 years older because she's 16 and some are already 26 or 27 and it's about this guy that is always in the living room he has the closest relationship to that girl and at some point it's going to start to be very troubling for both of them so anyways these were all the mangas that I had to introduce to you right now I hope you liked it. Next time I might introduce you to my manga collection. Yes? No? Let me know down below. All right. If you are not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the red button down below and also hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video and it's not focusing anymore, but see you all next time.